Okay, so I put makeup, but yet I still look very tired and exhausted. Anyways, where do we even begin? The year is 2024 and a lot has happened since last year obviously i mean it's only january oh, it's february what the heck it's february already anyways it's been a year since my dad passed away on january 31st last year he passed away yesterday was february 1st i had my real estate exam and i passed i am a provisional broker in north carolina right now not right now but now and they still have to evaluate my character hopefully i'll hear from the commission in a week and everything will go well. Just waiting for that, but I definitely went for a rough patch with that. People who say real estate is easy lying or they just like know English very well because I definitely struggled with the language. I had to learn a lot of the things and as you can hear, my English is fine. Like I can communicate, my degree was in English, I studied business management, so I know my part, you know, but still it was very, very challenging and i'm so glad i passed um i wasn't sure if i wanted to continue but i'm glad i passed it definitely boosted my confidence and january 31st last year my dad passed away so this year it was a year on january 31st this year i actually felt hopeful i felt good i didn't feel super sad i asked my dad for a sign and yesterday after the exam i went thrifting and my sign for my dad is birds and especially like big groups of certain birds and I seen it yesterday and I never noticed them before like last year I think it was like January 27th when I seen them for the first time and uh, actually for the very first time I seen them when my dad was driving me to the airport and this is the reason why I associated my dad with birds and the bird flew into his truck he used to be a truck driver or he was a truck driver so anyways I felt hopeful and honestly for the past week I felt like I am entering something new even like my tarot cards were telling me like you entering a new path there's something new for you. That's what's been happening. I definitely did a lot of growth. I changed from who I was last year. 2022 and 2023 were very hard years. I mean, I said 2022 was hard and tough. And then last year I came over and was like, oh, you think so? Watch me, watch me, girl. And <laughs> yeah, so now I'm being kind of careful saying, oh my God, the year was tough or it's going to be so challenging. Like this year, I have so many things to do, but I'm hopeful and I hope everything will go smoothly and fast. A lot of like bureaucracy and paperwork, green card stuff, I have to deal with that. Anyways, I've been thinking a lot and I think this year, as I mentioned, is a new path. Like I think the doors and new doors are opening for me and this is a new era for me i'm a recovering people pleaser and um, i'm definitely getting better but still even last year there were this like traits of a people pleaser even this year honestly but no more i think in general like i want to be left alone i want to be not bothered i want to be unbothered i don't want to prove anything to anyone because the state of the world right now yet you know i was talking to my husband about it today there is celebrities and i know i'm talking about celebrities because i think like in the u.s entertainment celebrities consumerism those are like big topics and i'm not saying it with offense i'm just saying this as a, as a truth you know this is what it is so so many terrible things are happening in the world and people in power celebrities including choose not to speak on those things and this is a position i learned it last year as well a little bit but those things i'm 42 but those things i knew and call me naive maybe i am naive but i was shocked to learn i you know i have my values and i speak my values i act as my values you know i will never say that i am a feminist or pro-abortion without actually meaning that i actually mean those things but there are people who can say those things for profit i am pro lgbtq plus you know support black lives matter but they say it for their own benefit and for profit for their businesses or for their personal profit to be seen as good and i just could never understand that especially if you're older than 30 you should not be doing that like you should speak your truth no matter what it is you know look at emily schumer or whatever her name is she's speaking her truth thank you girl because you're actually showing us your true colors so that's what i've been realized i get worried about not saying thank you to someone in the store because i'm not really in a good mood and i don't want to talk about anyone yet there are people who destroy each other careers being petty 
about oh someone's girlfriend didn't allow me to take a photo with her man and obviously there are way more things than that and again like i was talking about it briefly with my husband like these people live lavish lives look at the mlm babes they lie on daily basis they profit from people who don't know better they misguide they misrepresent yet they still like especially people obviously who are on the top i'm talking about people on the top they still live good lives lavish lives they peaceful with themselves they feel good about themselves they showcase who they are and they have their friends and family who support them and yet as i was saying for me i feel bad for not saying thank you to a person in target because you know i just didn't want to interact with anyone on that particular day and i will be thinking about it for like five days straight and i probably remember that two years later so that made me think that this pattern of thinking that i obviously learned or should i say my mom taught me that is destructive to my life and i think that really limits i obviously will not put my values aside but i just have to be a little bit delusional and i always say put yourself first but i don't think i truly 100 percent mean it because still those traits of people pleasing show up and i don't like it like i'm so so done i'm really done i deactivated my instagram it will reactivate again on sunday because it's like automatic but i will deactivate it again for next three months i love this solitude i really need it i crave it i do crave community but i do crave meaningful community so this is what i'm going to work on this year last year and a half i was a slob i mean understandably last year but by the end of last year i did start feeling better honestly i set my goals i have my journals i even started tracking things i started putting body cream a little bit of makeup started taking better care of myself i am um, losing weight we're trying to lose weight so i'm happy about it because i definitely put myself aside but it did build some strength in me as well because i was not about to entertain any bullshit last year anymore and I'm proud of myself, despite of what others think and despite of the outcomes, I'm really proud and happy that I can set my ground and set the boundaries straight. I just hope to communicate them a little bit better and not feel bad about myself and about what I say. Because at the end of the year, like going back to like celebrities world, and honestly, I watched yesterday, I feel like celebrity gossip videos because I passed my exam and I felt like empty, like that there is no more purpose for me. <laughs> Obviously there is, but you know when you study for something or you try to achieve something and you finally get it, there's this moment where you're like, hold on a second, what's, what's next? So I was in this mode yesterday. What I was trying to say is that no matter what you do, people will still judge you and you will still have people who love you and support you no matter what you do. There are catfishes in the world and they still live peaceful lives. There are scammers, they are like horrible people, yet they have their families and they have their fans. Uh, look at Anna Delvey. And you know, it made me think like, why do I feel so bad about myself then? I don't understand that. How people pleasing serves us, it, it does not. No matter what I do, it will be judged or no matter what I don't do, it will be judged. People will support you or judge you no matter what. And this year, I just really want to work on myself and move on. That's all I want. I don't want to be a people pleaser anymore. I really, like I'm 32. I should not be in this position anymore. And obviously I came to those conclusions a few times in my life. But I feel like this time it's different because I'm really done. I'm really done. And it feels like the layer is being peeled off and I shed in my skin and I'm ready to move forward and not look back anymore. Like I'm tired. I want things for my family. I really want to move forward at this point. I'm tired. There is no reason why I and my family do not deserve to have a comfortable life. And my thinking my brain my doings stop me from achieving that and that's what it is i am by nature a very goal oriented person i'm an achiever by nature and by nature i'm also i don't care person but yet again because of my values which i appreciate and i'm not just going to get rid of them and because of the way i was raised it's it just what it is you know obviously i cannot blame anyone at this point i'm i am my own person i mean it does 
linger in my head you know all these ideas about like oh my god do not offend anyone just sit quiet yet people can come into my life and dictate and tell me what i should be doing or not okay no that's not happening anymore <laughs> so obviously i think also the death of my dad really influenced my thinking right now because a lot of people really show their true colors some relatives who said weird things about my dad and my dad was a person who would be there for them 100 percent and uh, they i just didn't feel support and it just it's just weird i mean i guess if you don't have a loss like that in your life you can't relate or if you know it occurred to you or happened to you when you were younger you just don't feel it the same as you would feel a little bit older anyways yeah the experience with my dad's death and doctors and just people around us it was freaking weird i definitely developed way more trust issues i think just in general the only person i can fully trust is my husband um anyone else we're definitely keeping distance but right now i think i crave solitude i really need it i just need to work on myself because i don't even know who i am at this point because people pleasing really went so so long and so far that i'm lost i don't know who i am and i'm truly down with that and the thinking is that yes you'll be judged no matter what no matter what you do you can be the most innocent person who volunteers every damn day gives their money away yet some people will say you don't do enough or why are you doing that so my husband said you know this is not new like we knew that for so long that people just like do their own stuff they lie they uh, you know do whatever can benefit their careers their personal paths and if needed they will throw everybody off and i'm not that kind of a person but you know also in the concept of my own personal life it is very new for me it's very weird that someone can not only say that they don't care but be proud of that and i really need to build this stamina in me to say you know what i don't care i'm just going to be doing me and this is my path so this is what i'm going to work on i definitely need to work on my mindset and just become a little bit more positive towards myself and be a little bit delusional and i think my mindset in achieving the goals is in the right place but i just need the right attitude and just keep going but yeah that's basically a new year new me and i just go on a new journey for myself truly 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 this time for myself without thinking about others in the back of my mind just me for me for my family for my two little baby cats and we'll see i am positive and i believe in myself and i think the attitude i'm i'm down with everybody and everything is really helpful yes going to work on myself truly want to build the life i want to and the words of this year for me are i have a few ones but uh thriving is uh one of them and moving on so that's what we're going to do anyways i just want to mention that obviously this video is not about celebrities i use celebrities as an example to just make my point clear and I said I don't know if I succeeded at that but the point of that video was just to tell that I do feel hopeful I feel like new doors are opening for me there's a new path I do feel brand new I do feel full of hope and maybe not happiness but it's somewhere over there in the process I use celebrities just to describe, you know, the situation and how I feel in general in the... Like, if we look just at the bigger picture. Because this is insane. And another point that I wanted to make that I think it's important to have values and you should stick to your values. Not because it will make you look good in the eyes of others, because it will benefit you, because you will be able to make more profit. I do not want to associate myself with that kind of people anymore. I made a mistake last year and definitely not anymore. But my point is that there there are people who have no values or no no more compass and compass English is not my native language, okay? Anyway, and they still succeed in life. They still win in life. They still earn money. They still, you know, buy houses, drive better cars. And my question at this is, what makes you, you know, a person with values worse than them? And if you want to say, oh, Julia, not everything is material. Not everything is about money. I agree. I agree. My dream is to live in the mountains and to have our like cabin have garden have animals swim in the lake 
I agree with that. But even for things that don't seem material, like health, better food, you still need money. And money can provide a better life for yourself, a more comfortable life for you. For you. you know, I grew up being poor and I didn't like it. My parents had to like sacrifice a lot of the things and I'm just tired of sacrificing my desires, my goals, my lifestyle to just benefit this invisible values and uh, morals. Obviously, again, I'm sticking to my morals, but sometimes I feel like I just have to let myself go and not feel bad about certain things. And the things I'm talking about, just like putting myself out there, filling TikToks, filming, making my content, making my art, writing, people like being more confident in my skills, with my skills, in my body. And I'm not comparing to be negative or just say I am better. No, I'm comparing just to remind that there are people with less skills who put their stuff out there with less effort and they still get views, they still get noticed, they still get opportunities. And I get up to my head thinking, oh my God, my hair doesn't look great. Oh my God. And I'll judge myself for that. And I think this is not right. I think that's crazy. And that's what I'm done with. And this is why I just wanted to compare with celebrities because they do the craziest stuff out there and they still fry. And obviously there are way more people like that. And I think I'm at the point where I think I deserve better things. And I do want those better things. I still have my morals. I still have my values, not getting rid of them. But I will not let my own inner judgment stop me from putting myself out there, from making my art, creating my vision and creating my world. So that's what I try to convey. Another practice for my piece is actually and like path of, you know, working on myself is the fact that I'm muted all notifications except my husband, everybody else is muted. Yes, it's really helpful. It's, it brings me so much peace, like on top of my Instagram being deactivated and on top of like other things. This is like truly helpful. This is what brings me peace. And another thing that I want to mention is that with media and our access to basically the whole world, I think it just adds so much stress to our daily life. And I hate to say that, oh my God, I need to put myself first, but as someone who never truly did that, I feel like I need to do that. We were watching this documentary called Blue Zones and they were talking about it so very briefly that basically the fact that we have access to everything everywhere 24 seven contributes to our stress levels. And I do feel that. And my dad had cancer, my grandpa had cancer. My pain accumulates in like my stomach area. And this like really scares me because I do not want to go that path that they went, which is a very tragic path. I kind of want to live a little bit longer than uh, 50 years old, you know? So I feel like this year I'm just going to protect my peace and work on that. This is just, you know, like an explanation for, I guess, myself and basically as a reminder for myself to, if I feel the need to speak on everything, everywhere, all at once, this is my video to remind myself like, hey, focus on yourself first, focus on your house and your family, then we go to our neighbors, we focus on them, our little street, our community, and then we go step by step by that. Um, I don't believe, or I stopped believing in saving the whole world when you can't even go outside and pick the trash on your street. Like, honestly, how are we going to save the whole world and defend communities if we cannot even contribute into the lives of people next to us. This is a video for me and for people like me, if you watch it, just as a reminder, so.